Welcome back. In between the parts, I saw as far as I could go with Welch's quest. We can't get to the point where I can do super leveling up at this point. So, let's progress the story until I can. Which shouldn't be far. I believe it's the start of the next chapter, which isn't far. But anyway, we need to go speak with Midas at the consortium. So it was you who showed it to Leticia. I admit it. How could I not? I shared in her anguish. If our knights are to face the Imperials, we will have need of them. Do not suffer children their foolish dreams. You are why I find myself here. Hmm? Maester Midas, Director Melthea. Ah, I am relieved to see you return in good health, Princess Leticia. And who are you? I am Melthea, the director here at the Osseria Semiomancy Consortium. A pleasure to meet you. Midas was just telling me of the pleasant journey you all had together. So, how did talks go with that twit Neon? Well... Um, so now we're heading straight for Baldar. And for what? I said I would support Albert and Elena. But I will rescind that promise if you intend to risk your lives so meaninglessly. Our good friend Chloe is being held captive in Baldar. We have to get to her. You understand, this is not up for debate. Hmm. I will not prostrate myself before the king. Go, return with your friend. I shall await here. Thanks, Midas. <laughs> you seem to understand Maester Midas quite well. Uh... Let us speak of the matter upon your return. <sighs> You have places to go and people to free. I truly pray time is on your side, Raymond. Let us make haste to Baldar. We have not the time to dawdle here any longer. I am certain it'll work this time. Please, try this method. That was a weird fade out and fade in. But let's make haste anyway. I am Albert Bergholm. Knight of the King's Guard and Bodyguard to Her Highness Leticia Osarius. We seek audience with Captain Bertrand, head of the Baldar forces. This is the permit entrusted us by Chancellor Neon Kazal, advisor to the Corps. Her Highness... <gasps> Pray, forgive me. Pardon the mistrust. You may enter the Citadel as you please. His Royal Majesty awaits you at the stronghold within the Basilica. Much obliged. Let us make for the Basilica at once, Your Highness. Indeed. So that's the Vale Empire. Why do they arm themselves? Why do they fight? Was that Duma? Piping up out of nowhere again. Are you really telling me you can't tell what they're gearing up for, Duma? Warfare between the same species would cause a massive decline in their respective population. What purpose could such fighting serve? I wonder the same myself, Duma. Is not the sky over Asarius the same shade as that over Vale? Yeah, well, you can't change the world overnight. Let's keep our eyes on the prize for now. You are right. Yeah, but so are you. Wow, it's so beautiful. That giant building is the Baldar Basilica? It is. Captain Bertrand should be there. I mean, he should. What if he's not? Might not be in Letty's playthrough. I imagine he is, but... Princess Leticia. It has been some time, Captain Bertrand. Uh, where is my father? He awaits within. We have just concluded our usual strategy meeting. Sir Albert and the rest of your party may enter as well. Oh, I plan to, mate. I'd already gone.
Father, I am sorry to intrude. Pray forgive my long and selfish absence. <clears throat> ah, yes. Full glad am I to see you return, Leticia. I apologize for the distress my current whereabouts must have caused you. Might I entreat you to introduce me to your allies? Of course, Father. They have been invaluable companions on my journey. This is Sir Raymond, Lady Elena, and Lady Nina. Rise, friends. I owe you much for helping my... Ah, huh? uh, might you be Filberto's daughter? You remember me, Your Majesty? As if one could forget. Is Marcus well? He is. Still alive and kicking. Father, there is aught I would report. Nina de Forge has discovered a cure for Helgar's disease. Can it be true? Well, um, not all by myself. I, uh, got a lot of help from Dad, uh, my father, Dr. Marcus, Ray, and Elena. I have also brought Maester Midas Felgreet to the royal city. <sighs> Midas has come back? We may have no assurance of his cooperation, but the Maester's return, Lady Nina's discovery of the cure for Helgar's, and the safe passage of both myself and Albert to the royal city, all would not have been possible without the help of Sir Raymond and Lady Elena. Hmm. Is that so? Thank you for going to such lengths to aid my daughter. Ah, uh, no prob. Ray. Pray forgive him, your majesty. You are too generous. Father. If you would truly thank these two, I beseech you. Raymond's friend, Chloe Canaris, is being held here in Baldar. She was imprisoned under suspicion of acting as an Imperial agent. Please grant her release. I will see to it she is released immediately. Bertrand, Leticia has brought us a veritable mountain of good tidings. Full glad am I to hear it. Hmm, what will you all do from here on? We do not intend to impose any longer than we already have. We shall return to the royal city as soon as Chloe is released. Night is nearly fallen, so it might be best to depart come morning. Allow us to see to your sleeping arrangements. Assuming the worst were to happen... Wouldn't civilians like ourselves only get in the way? Imperial spies walk among us. And they may be watching Leticia's every move, even now as we speak. Broad daylight will certainly prove a boon, if that be the case. I see. And yes, your friend has been in captivity for some time. It may not be wise to exert her too quickly. Besides, this reunion is long in coming. I am sure you have much to discuss. Your concern is greatly appreciated. We will do as you say. Captain Bertrand, please inform the guards to release Chloe at once. And see to it that Leticia and her friends have a place to rest their heads. Right away, Your Majesty. Shall we away to the dungeon, then? I dare say the matter should resolve quickly if I accompany you. You dare say it? He's quite bold, isn't he? I sure hope Chloe's okay. Take heart. We do not mistreat our prisoners here in Baldar. Doing so might only serve as reason for the Empire to come to their rescue with all fury. So you're telling me Chloe might have landed in a lot worse? If not for the war? She is being held in the cell on the end. There she is. Chloe! Ah, is that Chloe? Indeed it is. I am truly relieved to see her none the worse for wear. Oh, I see. So this is who Ray was searching for this entire time. Is something the matter? N no, nothing at all. 
Captain, please release Chloe at once. Yes, Your Highness. Her language is unknown to us, so communication has been difficult. That should be of no further concern. With Ray or I around, you should be able to understand her just fine. Hey, uh, now that you mention it, how are you and Ray speaking our language if you came from the sky? Well, there are a number of reasons. Sorry for the imposition, Nina. But would you kindly assist me in examining Chloe? Oh, of course. Leave it to me. Hmm. Is that it? <laughs> Just seems strange. I shall lead you to the inn, if you would come with me. I'm so glad to see you guys. <laughs> Dry your eyes. You're with us now. Let's go to the inn and get some rest. Just expecting more to be said with Chloe. She just stood there. It was very off-putting. I have arranged rooms for you on the second floor. I know. Please feel free to use this chamber. If there is aught you require, know that you need only ask. We appreciate the hospitality, Captain Bertrand. All right, Chloe. Here we go. Let's make sure you're in tip-top shape. Uh, um, okay. Hi there. I'm Nina. I'm a good friend of Ray's and Elena's, and an Iatromancer of this kingdom, so don't you worry. Nice to meet you, Nina. Thank you, Leticia. We never would have found Chloe without you. I... I truly did not do all that much. If it weren't for you and Albert, we wouldn't even know Chloe was in Baldar. I can't thank either of you enough. <laughs> it is unnerving to hear such sincerity coming from well, you. Well, Albert, even I can be sincere when I need to be. And don't worry. We still intend on helping however we can with Midas. You aren't getting us out of your hair that easily. Um, in that case, may I speak with you about something, Ray? Most definitely. Hey, Albert. Albert, might I ask you to assist Elena and Nina? Of course, Your Highness. Please try not to wander off too far. Please heed what Her Highness has to say. What? Thank you, Albert. So, what is it you want to talk about? Not just yet. Let us converse once we reach the east end of the Citadel. Uh, okay. Hmm? I should wait for Ray in front of the Northeast Passage. What's up with this place? Nothing is up, as you say. Please, follow me. Are we there yet? We've been hiking for ages. It has not been that long. We are almost there. Just don't take us anywhere that's gonna piss off Albert. <laughs> you are not the one who need fear his wrath. Uh, it's not just Albert I'm worried about. If your father found out, he might put Chloe back into custody. Come now. Father would never. We are near. Very much have Ray's head. Wow, what a view. Indeed. I love coming here. Huh. Aren't we on Vale Empire soil? When I was old enough to understand the words of my elders, the Kingdom of Osarius and the Vale Empire were already at odds. Every time I come here, I would always wonder why. 
Why must the same people under the same sky always be fighting one another? If it makes you feel any better, uh, even people living above this sky are constantly fighting. What a great shame. <sighs> the royal family of Osiris and the imperial line of Vale were once tied together by marriage. Theo's mother's sister, his aunt, was empress and wife to Emperor Buldor, the current ruler of Vale. Wow. Really? When Helgar's disease enveloped this world 15 years ago, she became afflicted and eventually died. And it was then that relations between my kingdom and the Empire began to sour. I see. When she fell ill, the Empire requested an Iatromancer be dispatched from Osirius. The Empire had very few Semiomancers, but the Kingdom refused. We cited the unstable situation on our home soil as an excuse. Why are you telling me all this now? I did not wish to keep it secret. That kind of honesty could come back to haunt you. If our journey is to be enjoyable, I must be open with you. It really is a nice view. Indeed. We should return before Albert and the others grow worried. A lovely view. It's an amazing view, to be honest. Back to the inn to get some rest. <sighs> Leticia! Leticia, wake up! Detecting multiple hostile threats. Secure the perimeter. Secure the perimeter. What the heck? That's artillery fire. The Baldar Citadel is taking fire from the Vale Empire. Your Highness, we are under attack from the Empire. <sighs> Your Highness! How can this be? What the hell is going on? <sighs> Are they gonna be okay down there? I believe Baldar's defenses should be well prepared. Albert! Ray! Let us find Nina, Elena, and Chloe with utmost haste! It is not safe! We must leave Baldar at once! What do you mean? With our few number, we have no possibility to sway the tide of this battle. And as shameful, as dispiriting as it may be, our duty precedes us. We must avoid the crown princess of the kingdom being killed or captured by the Empire. Your Highness, I... Leticia. The assurance of my safety should bring solace to the captain and father. I will not tempt Vale with our kingdom on a platter. Let us depart. It's full-blown war. What happened? Who gave the order to fire upon them? I do not know. It is unclear which unit launched the attack, but it seems the naval battalion in the harbor has already deployed. Perhaps there was some miscommunication. Foolishness! Father! Leticia! It would seem things have taken an ill turn. I am relieved to see you all unharmed. What is the situation on the battlefield? We fare poorly. But our strategic councils have prepared us for this. The situation will be under control ere long. Uh, Your Majesty! The lower level gates have been breached! What? Already? What is the front line command post doing? What what was that? Uh, we 
we are taking massive fire from the Empire's naval battalion. Uh, their unceasing bombardment is laying waste to our forces. Do the Imperial ships truly outclass our own to such degree? It should be impossible for their fire to reach us from that range. Ray, this could have something to do with our horned assailants. Oh, great. Are those bastards helping the Empire develop new technology? They may not be so directly involved. But, if beings from a developed planet have formed some allyship with Vale, they could have easily improved their warships and artillery in short order. Damn, those meddling purple... Ray, Elena, what do you make of the situation? Leticia, if we want to keep you safe, we need to make tracks, and fast. We don't stand a chance against the enemy's firepower. Upon weighing the defensive armaments I observed here yesterday, against what the Empire has on hand, it is only a matter of time until Baldar falls. Father! Captain! We must retreat at once! What are you saying? You would have us abandon Baldar? That is precisely what I am saying. We have not a moment to lose. Your Majesty, the Imperial forces are much more powerful than we had anticipated. Please understand, their strength is likely bolstered by interlopers from the sky as well. We stand no chance. Interlopers from the sky? What madness do you speak of? We've witnessed unbelievable power throughout our travels. Incredible power from those beyond the sky! Ray and the others are from an advanced civilization far superior to that of the Vale Empire. Please, you must heed my words. Confound it. There's not been many examples, really. Thinking about it. Like, considering what we've seen, like, going through this very quickly, it's like, we've not seen that much in the way that would support that argument, I'd say. To think it would be decided in one blow. Your Majesty! Order all troops to retreat back to the Royal City immediately! Right away. Pray leave the troops in my care, Your Majesty. You and the Princess should make for Asendros with all haste. I am sorry for this, Bertrand. Do not fall this day. My men await you outside, Sir Albert. See that His Majesty and the Princess arrive safely back at the Royal City. Understood, sir. May fortune smile upon you, Captain Bertrand. Forgive me, I never thought it would come to this. Don't worry, it's all part of the job. Nina, you take the rear with His Majesty and Leticia. Chloe, stick with me and don't stray. Got you! Uh, okay! Let us be off. Let's go! What's the best way to go? Let's try this door. This far? Let's just sneak out the back. Try and get there as quickly as possible. You you know how we're doing. We, you know you know you know this at this point. Threat detected ahead. Bertrand Kor, protect his majesty with your lives. And I just run all the way up to the, to the door north. and exit. We must get as close. Push through their ranks. You you know, must keep north. Do not look back. No, but how much do we have to kill? Maybe it's just stuff in, in local vicinity sort of thing. Right, is that it? Might be it. Music change. Yep. We're through. It 
is nothing. I see now that you spoke true. Never in my life have I laid eyes upon such fearsome arms. Don't talk. I'll seal the wound right away. What? What the heck is that thing? Bertrand Corps, shield his majesty! Bloody hell. Detecting massive hostile threat. Incalculable fire signatures incoming. Yeah, we can see that for ourselves, Duma. Protect the King and Chloe. That is in order. Protecting combat ready individuals may establish a more strategic advantage and is therefore. Shield them! Got it? Here it comes! I must want to pull these guys away at this point. I'm losing my. Oh, Nina's down. Like Nina. Yeah, losing my AP. Not not a good idea at this point. If I can get that back up with blind sides, let's also not run off there. Let's actually <laughs> go to Raymond during this because it's like let's just get it, get 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 that done. Because I know how to play as Raymond. I know how to play better as Raymond. Let's put it like that anyway. Can you do stuff? I want to get away from the worms. That's the issue right now. Do you like grass? That's all we're seeing right now. Bad gained a level. Let's see about getting people up then. It's my own fault. Do you mind? I thought we got these guys. That's why I started getting people up. So I should have. I should have. Because I completely forgot those guys were there. I should have turned around and taken out these guys before. Going for the worms? That was my fault there. So where where is Nina? It's like watch it. Watch it. No, we should be alright now. It's just that initial from behind, I completely forgot about that, it screwed me over. Nothing compared to the bird, though, this. It's just that should be alright. Oh, what? That's the little AP I did have. We'll save the vetting for the... ...one at the top. Tip. Hardly fair. I need stuff I can blindside to get my AP back up. There's only so much dodging I can do. Speaking of dodging... Completely mistimed that! I'm flying! I'm so tempted to use my vatting right now. I'd use the estuary cage, but I haven't got that yet. That's the next part, isn't it? But like, well, I may as well use that. It's like I can't, I can't yet, I can't yet. Charge complete. So running up then. His Majesty Steed. It can no longer carry him. Duma, why didn't you stay with the King and Chloe? I determined that focusing on the defense of this organism would result in a significantly decreased mortality rate. W what the hell are you even saying? I acted in the interest of protecting the organism's King and Chloe. A great number of the more combat-viable Bertrand Corps had ceased all vital function. Therefore, protecting two organisms that cannot contribute to the survival of the majority 
You must go, Leticia. As long as you yet live, the royal family will not fall. I will not leave you. Go quickly now. The blame lies with me for failing to defend Baldar, for underestimating the strength of our enemy. No, your majesty. Stand up. You need to keep walking. We have to get closer to the royal city. I'll do respect, but if we stand here and argue, we're all toast. Ray, look. Here we go. Duma, protect the king and Chloe. It is the best way to boost our odds of survival. Promise. Analyzing command. Rewriting. Approved. A new program has been issued. <gasps> right, hit Estri Cage. We can get that going now. New program activation complete. Engaging hostile readings. Duma, what? We have not the time to contemplate. It comes. Just trying to think like I think it's vetting here. That's the lot. Quite simple. What? What strength is this? If you had the power to do this, why didn't you do this earlier? If you had, Bertrand's soldiers wouldn't have had to die. Hostile threat detected. Again? Incalculable hostile readings approach from the north. Initiate emergency measures. Did you say from the north it must be attack show not a shred of mercy to those who tread unbidden on royal land do not let them leave alive lord uncle the imperial forces need not be feared onward your majesty princess leticia are you all right General Canis! We came with all haste as soon as we heard the news that Baldar had fallen. I am relieved we made it in time. General Canis, Captain Bertrand is heading the rear guard at Baldar. Please, you must help them. Calm yourself, Sir Albert. Duke Clemrath is already seeing to their aid. Commander Theo is also leading a fleet of warships to engage the Imperial Navy. Heartening news. All right. Are we going to be okay here? Ray, it seems that way. Please, this way, your majesty. We have a steed prepared for you. Wait, I'm still treating a... Know your place, child. Duke Clemrath's personal Iatromancer will see to his majesty's recovery. Hmm. We may have been better off without their aid. Right, let's head off to the council chamber now then. We have much to discuss. The Baldar Citadel has fallen into the indecent hands of the Empire. How will you take responsibility for this? Our defense was doomed from the start. The Imperials far outmatched us. Yet we were able to rout their pursuing forces without issue. The weapons the Imperials used were beyond anything we could have imagined. Why, then, do reports indicate our forces made the first move? Were you all so eager for glory you were willing to die for it? Save the reprimands for later. We must first hear more of these Imperial weapons. I must say, the cannons outfitted on those Imperial warships were assuredly unlike anything we have dealt with before. They command all manner of monstrous abominations. And their soldiers were armed with weapons that fired shards of iron. Is that all? Mere trifles by the sound of it. Do you doubt Her Highness's words, General Canis? You forget yourself. Here is one of the stones fired from their contraptions. It penetrated a knight's armor, killing him instantly. 
It is plain to see the Empire's armaments have undergone a drastic change. Lacking as we are in sufficient field analysis, crushing defeat is all but certain should we suffer another attack. Then we shall bring the fight to them. Let us wrest Baldar back from their grasp. We shall not let them have the upper hand. That will only lead to more unnecessary deaths. For the time being, we had best wait for His Majesty to recover. Until then, you should all focus on healing your own wounds. Oh, I am relieved to see you all safe. We have much to discuss, though this may not be the most suitable place for it. Please come to the Consortium. Maester Midas has been worried sick about you. So... In theory, at this point... Hmm... The Semiomancy Consortium was just east we after done. leaving the palace, wasn't it? Yep. I wonder what Director Malthea wants to say. And there's Theo. But... I'm thinking it's after we go to Midas I should be able to do more Welch stuff. Because we're in the next chapter now, so... I, I'm just wondering on the timing. I'm assuming Welch will contact us at some point and that'll be the key. Anyway, let's go speak to Midas. So, you return in one piece, with an ally in tow no less. Yeah, this is Chloe. Chloe? Meet our good pal, Midas. Uh, <clears throat> nice to meet you. Well, perhaps you should have accompanied them if you were so worried after Sir Albert and Lady Elena. Try. I am come only to fix Albert's arm, nothing more. Huh, a shame that. I suppose we will only discuss what could have been. Oh? The Empire clearly had the advantage over us at Baldar. We cannot win this fight without taking the upper hand. Director Malthea, is it time? Yes, Princess Leticia. I think it is high time the Maester heard your reason for departing Asendras from the first. Please, this way, everyone. Is this... a sleigh? No way that's a sleigh. Maybe a boat? No, Ray. This machinery... Director Malthea, is this... some kind of aircraft? Yes, very perceptive. It is an apparatus that will allow semiomancers to soar through the skies. I created this prototype based on a theorized design devised by Maester Midas. From how I see it, this would revolutionize the war effort. Midas truly has a gift. Twas not but a foolish 14-year-old dream. What if I told you that dream was on the verge of actualization? Do what you will with my dusty old notion. I am come only to... See to Sir Albert's arm. Yes, yes, I am aware. Then, I suppose it would not interest you to know that the final material needed to complete the Folga lies on Nilbeth? What? Maester Midas once attempted to make the Folga fly, using ancient floating semiomancy. But the output was never enough to move them more than a stone's throw. We have recently discovered a catalyst that can greatly increase their distance and time spent airborne. It is called Levitas Ore, and can only be found in the Nilbeth Ancient Coil, in the lands of the Trathin. If you jest, I shall show you no quarter. Um, have you ever known me to make light of semiomantic research? Fine, I will go. Maester Midas. But I thought you were only here for Albert's arm. I wouldn't want to get your hopes up too high, Leticia. When do we leave? 
Oh, what? Good. You should make for the seaport of Kado at once. I've arranged for a transport. Let us meet at the harbor. All right, let's get this show on the road. Hold on, Ray. I think I'll be staying in the Royal City. Huh? Chloe needs rest. Her imprisonment and our retreat from Baldar has surely left her exhausted. Besides that, you'll be taking a ship from Kato to Nilbeth. If we were to run afoul of the Imperial Navy, the risk to non-combatants on open water would be too great. Elena, you speak wisely. If I stay, I can keep you updated on the situation here, via my device. Of which Chloe has none, lest you forget. She will need time to learn the language and the culture of this land. Chloe's a quick learner. She should pick it up in no time at all. Yeah, you're right. Take care of her. <sighs> it will be much harder to gather the right materials without you there, Elena. Hmm. I would also beseech her to stay. I fear what my Lord Uncle and the others may do. I would find some comfort in knowing what they are planning. Please, do feel free to make use of the Consortium however you see fit during your stay in Asendros. That's very kind of you, Director Melthia. I have some concerns regarding those Imperial armaments. Any data you can share from the last battle would be appreciated. But of course. Meet me in the harbor in Kado. I will accompany you on the voyage. I do like Midas there, though. Here's the question of the day. Who am I? The clock is ticking. Three, two, one, zero. Time's up. The lady behind this lovely voice is Welch, the beautiful merchant magnate with genius level smarts. How easy was that? Anyway, I need another thing, so get yourself in sprint mode till you reach my abode. Do you copy? And I did say sprint mode. Tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock. Right, so that's obviously an indicator that we can go off and do other things now. So, what I'll do... Oh, is this where this room was? I don't, I don't remember doing that before. But, we'll obviously use this as a place to end this part. In between the parts, I'll go sort Welsh's stuff, get my levels up. I might not go all the way to max level. But I'll be in the 200s. I'll be very stupidly high level, is the best way of putting it. And we'll be flying through the story. But, don't think I've forgotten. I will check around and start the next part with... Ray, over there with his private actions around the place. Can't get Theo's yet, because Theo's not in the group. But, we'll see you in the next part anyway. Ta-da for now.